I actually think it's a bloody cheek for the argument to be advanced that people in the public sector have got pensions because people in the private sector haven't. Well, the reason people in the private sector haven't got pensions is they've been cheated out of them. And they've been cheated out of them by the very people who are now advising us on what we should be doing with public sector pensions. So my basic point is let's not fall into the trap of believing that this is a dispute between the private and public sectors. We have got to remember in the public sector we owe an obligation to the private sector to give them decent pensions. It is wrong that those pensions have been stolen. But my second point is, and I'll say it if no one else it will say it, Ed Miliband, get off your knees, fight for the Labour movement, fight for the Labour Party. These are our people, these are our voters, these are our supporters and these are our members. Stand together or we all fall apart individually. But I've got an action for all of you. We're all disappearing off to the Irish Club, but it is an important action. This weekend, every MP in Gloucestershire will have a surgery. I want you to go back today or tomorrow and to book into that surgery, to go along and talk to those MPs about what pension you expect to now get, to compare it to their pension and to say to them, do you want to swap? Because it's no good just demonstrating today. This is part of a campaign. It's a campaign that must go forward. And the best way to take it forward is not to be horrible to these people, but to rationalise with them and to tell them what is going on, because clearly they don't know. So there's your action. Thanks for listening. Let's take the campaign forward. Who's here from Strad? Yeah. I thought so. Okay, we've got C. McKell now from uh, Gloucestershire County Council.